Tonight, Vice President Kamala Harris is facing criticism from local immigration advocates. Harris is on her first international trip to Guatemala as VP. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Lindsay Pena in for Steve Atkinson. Today, Harris told people in Guatemala who are thinking of migrating, quote, do not come. As our ABC 10 News reporter Laura Acevedo explained, she is facing backlash from several sides. Local advocates say the vice president's messaging is tone deaf and say that those seeking asylum don't have many other choices. On her first full day in Guatemala City, the vice president with a message. I want to be clear to folks in this region who are thinking about making that dangerous trek to the United States-Mexico border. Do not come. Do not come. Warning Guatemalans wishing to come to the U.S. to stay home. Monday, in a joint press conference with Guatemala's President Harris, vowing the administration will address corruption in the region. And I want to emphasize that the goal of our work is to help Guatemalans find hope at home. Local groups criticizing her message. And so it's appalling that someone, uh, this administration, that spoke up against the inhumane treatment of migrants under the prior administration is repeating some of the same rhetoric. Pedro Rios of the American Friends Service Committee says the people he's worked with on the border had no other choice. It's not a choice that they're making uh, lightly. It's a choice that comes with a lot of personal danger. Harris says the administration is creating a task force to address corruption and human smuggling. In a statement, Republican Congressman Darrell Issa said Vice President Harris's trip to Guatemala was a disappointing display of partisan politics and continued denial of the border crisis that the Biden administration created and that she refuses to see in person. It simply isn't credible for her to claim our border is closed when the American people can see with their own eyes that it isn't. Laura Acevedo, ABC 10 News. The vice president's next stop on her trip is Mexico, where she's also expected to meet with the country's president.